I'm going to talk about the seven unexpected amazing benefits of the trace mineral, zinc. Now, I would say out of all the, the health topics, making this minor tweak in your diet will probably result in one of the major improvements in your health because zinc is involved in more enzyme systems than all of the other trace minerals combined. And over 2 billion people are deficient in zinc. And one of the big problems with zinc is that there's no functional storage of zinc in your body. So as soon as you stop getting zinc from the diet, uh, you're gonna be deficient. And you might think that you can just uh, determine a zinc deficiency by a blood test, but most of the zinc is not in the blood. It's in the cells. And so we're gonna talk about that. So let's dive into the first point. The most concentrated amount of zinc is located in the prostate gland, okay? Because it's involvement with uh, sperm and testosterone, et cetera. And so zinc helps someone maintain their testosterone levels. And if they're deficient, they're definitely gonna experience problems with low testosterone, low libido, and even something called hypogonadism, in which the testicle actually atrophies. So many people don't realize the importance of getting enough zinc to maintain their testosterone levels. All right, number two, and this one is a really, really interesting one. Um, zinc has a major role in maintaining your insulin levels, okay? As well as the insulin binding to your liver cells. So the second most concentrated area for zinc in your body is in the pancreas. Specifically, the cells that produce insulin in the pancreas, they're called the beta cells. And so when we're dealing with diabetes, for example, zinc becomes very, very important. Now, before you get diabetes, you get prediabetes. Before you get prediabetes, you have insulin resistance. Pretty much all diabetics have insulin resistance. In fact, the majority of the population on planet Earth has insulin resistance. I've talked extensively about this topic, but the importance of zinc in avoiding or preventing insulin resistance is, uh, is not really well known. So you may already know that if someone has insulin resistance, you're very susceptible to getting a fatty liver, cirrhosis of the liver, um, increasing your risk of getting a stroke, heart attack, obesity, high blood pressure. But if you don't have enough zinc, your beta cells, the cells that make insulin become fatigued. Now just think about this. What determines someone going into a pre-diabetic and then a diabetic situation? Now, when someone has diabetes, insulin is no longer working or it's becoming less and less in the body. And then the blood sugars start to go out of control. They start increasing because insulin kind of keeps the blood sugar in check. So when someone eats a lot of sugar, normally you have insulin that comes in there and it keeps the sugar down. So your blood sugars don't build up and they can be maintained. You can do that for a period of time, but eventually over the years, maybe, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years, it's that beta cell starts to become fatigued. Well, what I believe that's happening deep in the cells is that somehow a person loses the amount of zinc that's in that pancreas, then the beta cell starts burning out. That's when you start having diabetes and uh, more complications because zinc is a very powerful antioxidant. And the fact that someone's consuming a lot of carbohydrates and the insulin is high, that right there will deplete your zinc even more. So it's kind of like, is it the chicken or the egg? Well, a zinc deficiency can set you up for weakness with having a problem with the, the beta cell, but then the diet of consuming all those carbs are gonna deplete you of zinc. So then the fact that the person now has diabetes creates more of a zinc deficiency. So what you need to know is that zinc is really, really, really important in helping someone overcome prediabetes and diabetes. So zinc will help lower your blood sugars and make insulin more sensitive. All right, number three, and this is also very interesting. The third most concentrated tissue with zinc in your body is your muscles. And so zinc is needed for muscle repair and regeneration. But even if someone is deficient in zinc, apparently the muscles um, can still function fine, except one muscle. And that muscle is the soleus muscle. 
Now, what is the soleus muscle? That is the muscle in your calf, just underneath another calf muscle called the gastrocnemius muscle. So the soleus is a deeper calf muscle that attaches to your Achilles tendon. It can withstand a tremendous amount of load. And out of all the muscles in the body, the soleus has the highest concentration of zinc. And so the soleus is very, very important in um, uh, endurance. So a long distance runner needs a very healthy soleus. Someone that is a basketball player that uses explosive movements needs a very healthy soleus muscle. And when you're deficient in zinc, the soleus can actually atrophy. It can have a dysfunction in contraction and relaxation, making you more susceptible to getting an injury with the knee, as well as the calf, as well as the Achilles tendon. If you're trying to build a calf muscle and you don't have enough zinc, you may find that you never develop your calf muscles. Now, as a side note, there's four times more zinc in red meat than white meat. Now, a lot of people that are working out consume uh, like chicken breast, broccoli, rice, grains, right? And what they don't know is because they're not consuming enough red meat, they're probably not gonna get as much zinc. Not to mention when you consume grains that have this chemical called phytic acid, which is a naturally occurring chemical that locks up zinc and other minerals, that could be one reason why they're deficient. In fact, a good portion of the population on planet Earth is deficient in zinc because they consume cereals, which are grains, which block the absorption of zinc. So zinc is very important to the soleus muscle in protecting the knee and the ankle and your ability to perform sports. Number four, your thymus gland, the main gland that is involved in your immune system. Okay, it's right on top of the heart. It's different than the thyroid. It's called the thymus, okay? And if you're deficient in zinc, one big problem you may experience is thymus atrophy, okay? And then what can result from that is low T cells and low antibodies. And think about your immune system. If you have low antibodies and low T cells, you can't fight as long. So if someone is, it can't fight, it can't fight infections. So what happens, the duration of infections are a lot longer if you are zinc deficient. Now, number five, you may know if you're deficient in vitamin A, you might have problems seeing at night. But zinc is just as important as vitamin A in making the active form of vitamin A activated, okay? So if you're deficient in zinc, yet you're still consuming enough vitamin A, you might still have a problem seeing in the dark. So in other words, vitamin A needs zinc to work. All right, number six, your skin needs zinc. Without enough zinc, you're gonna notice you'll get dry, flaky skin. Your skin will become roughened. It won't be nice and smooth. And number seven, intestinal inflammation. Uh, a lot of remedies for either an ulcer in your small intestine or your stomach become greatly improved with zinc. If you're deficient in zinc, your risk for getting inflammatory conditions goes way up. And then when you have inflammation in your intestine, that can block your ability to absorb zinc. So this is why so many people with gut issues have skin issues because of this lack of absorption of zinc. Now, how do we become deficient in zinc? There are several key things. I'm just gonna run through them. Uh, birth control pills can cause a zinc deficiency. Uh, consuming a lot of refined carbs or sugar will create a deficiency of zinc. Um, phytic acid in grains will block zinc. Stress, cortisol, and even the medication called prednisone, which is a synthetic version of cortisol, can deplete your zinc. Having low hydrochloric acid can prevent your ability to absorb zinc, which is very common if you're over the age of 45. And alcohol can create a zinc deficiency. Now, if you want a really high quality um, zinc product that has all the trace minerals, I put a link down below in the description. And the next best video for you to watch would be how to test yourself to determine if you have a zinc deficiency. I put that video up right here. Check it out.